what do you guys want to watch? Endwalker update on servers, or you guys want to watch uh, Blizzard stealing uh, breast milk? Oh, dude, how is that even a thing? Who steals breast milk? You're like, I'm so thirsty. What? There's very few times where, like, your boy Asmongold can actually get embarrassed or... Dude, I thought I had my sound on. Is Asmund playing FF in the background? Yeah, I have no VGM. Um, I'm getting baited. Feel awkward talking about something. But unfortunately, we are in even my uncomfortability zone. All right, let's go. Let's just, let's fucking get it out of the way. All right? In other countries, uh, women get maternity leave. This is America. So they have to breastfeed at work because they have young babies and they have to meet their honor point requirements so Bobby doesn't fire him because he needs to buy his seventh yacht. So we've got a number of situations <laughs> that- Farm honor points! And I'd like to talk about them and uh, get into it. Number one, the chairs would rock backward and could not be locked in position to properly position oneself to pump. Many mothers were sitting on the floor to pump. Now. I have never breastfed someone myself, so to be honest with you, I don't really know the anatomy of this. Yeah, I don't like, know. I kind too. of understand the general idea, but I, I don't really. Guys, wh how are you capping this? For real how are you capping? I don't know how this works, but I will take their word for it that it's an issue. The tables, this is the most disgusting thing. I've ever heard and it literally makes me not even want to eat after I finish this video the tables were made of wood were porous which means like things can go down inside of them uh, and textured so that even though they were cleaned breast milk built up and caked on the table discoloring and leaving trapped milk on the what are we reading Hurry up, Asmin. I'm oh grossed out to continue, dude. I need to know, man. They refuse to clean up after, after their after their own milk? No, no, no. That's not how it works, man. Okay, imagine if you get a piece of paper wet. You can never dry that paper out all the way to where it's wow, the exact it's same thing before you got it wet, right? So imagine you get it wet 50 times. What's that paper going to look like? Oh! It doesn't matter how hard you Dude, that paper is going to be demolished. It doesn't matter what you do. If you go to any of these, like, you know, like, you go to the the bathroom and you see they have, like, a baby changing station and, like, a maternity station in a lot of these different bathrooms. Not a single fucking one of them is made out of wood. Not a, like a toilet is made from wood. No, it's not made from, it's not, oh, you don't get it. It also, like, why are you shitting on your toilet seat? You're supposed to do in between. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you do it. I, I understand that you guys think that somehow these women have just got together and they're like, we're going to come up with this thing that is embarrassing even to read. We're going to say all of these things. And there's nobody around saying that they're lying, right? Besides a few people of like a Twitter profile of Donald Trump or, or, or an anime girl with a, a, with a hat on or something <laughs> like that. Or maybe, maybe an <laughs> NFT instead uh, nowadays. Uh, there's nobody saying that these people are lying uh, that actually work at the company, right? There's no, there's no pushback against this narrative at all. So it feels to me like it's, it, 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 I, I, nah, man, come on. Like, nobody's going to go to jail over this. Uh, nobody's going to. I need the full uh, scoop. This, there, this is not actionable information directly. This is just more fuel to the Okay, cup. I need it's to like know as when read us. The cupcake, right? You already didn't like the cupcake, but now okay. it puts sprinkles of dog shit on it. And now you That's really gross. don't like it. Why is there milk on a table? And like, if you spill some, you wipe it up. So, okay. So this is a point of contention. All right, all right, just, just, all right, let me. Okay, all right, okay. All right, let's, so here's what we do. I want you guys to, for the next year, 
anybody who thinks that this would not happen, for the next year, I want you to get a piece of wood, and I want you to pour milk on it three times a day. Leave it there for five minutes, and then wipe it off. Do that every single day for an entire year. So collectively over a thousand- Yeah, that's content. If anyone wants free content, that could be a- <laughs> Like, put that scoop in the intro, and then show yourself doing that in times 10 speed for one year, just dropping milk on- <laughs> That's- that's Four content times. right there. And then at the end of that year, I want you to look at that piece of wood and tell me that it's not different. Nobody wants to do it because everybody knows what's going to happen. Not a woman, thank God. Why would I? No, you don't have to use your own breast milk. You don't have to induce lactation for the test. I'm just drawing an analogy. Oh my God, dude. Some of these chat, they have like negative brain, dude. Show how ridiculous this is. <laughs> uh, outlet situation was a fire hazard. There are only two plugs per room. One plug being used by a lamp with the USB jack for phones. The other outlet for the pump. No outlet for laptops or extra table space to place a laptop. A pumping moms wanted to work or watch a show while pumping, so extension cords were being used. Uh, I don't know if extension cords are a fire hazard. I, I have no idea about that. Insufficient storage space. Uh, there were no locked cubbies for moms to keep their pumps safe. Many had to lug them across campus multiple times a day as they didn't want to leave them behind. At this time, women were uncomfortable using B-13s. I thought that was an airplane, so uh, I, I'm, I'm not really, as I said, I'm a 31-year-old single man. I've never had a kid before. I, so, I'm on the same uh, page. I don't know anything. B-13? Uh, this is kind of outside of my area of expertise. You'll see why it's important to have locked cubbies here in just a second. So uh, anyway, we have... Ah, uh, that's the to, key no, point right there. I would assume that carrying your breast pump around the Blizzard offices is embarrassing. And it's not that it's embarrassing. Breastfeeding is natural. It's totally normal. But it's like, imagine if you had to carry around toilet paper with you every single time you had to use the bathroom. It would be kind of awkward to just have it there That's in true. your hand. I like that. Uh, not really. It's in a bag. Yeah, but like I think people assume that's what it is and it's the implication of it. Probably wouldn't care. They come on a purse. Uh, it's, it's, it's not like it's a big deal. It's I so always hard. bring my own toilet paper. What are you, Batman with utility belt? A chat, who carries around toilet paper? What? I've never heard that before. I've never heard that before. You might get some satisfaction from it. Okay, okay. How does this work? No, you don't. No, you don't, bro. Like, you go to Walmart and you wipe your ass with the one ply toilet paper in a giant wad. Oh, dude, I hate. Oh, my God, dude. Whenever I poop outside, it's literally sandpaper. Like, you wrap sandpaper. I hate outside toilet papers. Clog up the toilet, you walk out of that, and you say, it's not my fucking problem. I don't want to hear- Why outside? Sometimes, chat, you gotta take care of business outside. You can't always do it at home. It's a battlefield. You gotta be prepared. I mean, I used to hold it in school because my school toilet was sort of disgusting, but... It was one day where I was walking home. It's a long story. I'll break it up to short. Um, I was about to blow up in school. I held it all day since, like, 8 a.m. Uh, school lasts till like, 3 p.m. I had to walk back home. It's like 10 miles. Dude, I was dying. I was like sweating, drenched, like trying to put my key at the door. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. And then you sit down. Yep. About how you do things differently and how your world is totally different than everybody else's. I hate it's that feeling. Not, you're lying and I don't want to hear it. So let's go back over to number five. Who shits at a Walmart? Honestly, whenever you're at Walmart, you're asking yourself who actually shits in the toilet. If you've gone to the Walmarts that I've been to. So anyway, let's go to number five. Number five is the worst. Yes, <laughs> that. Tell shit at Walmart, okay? Refrigerators. Oh, man. I, I don't even know, like... Oh, God, I can't even read this. I've already had to read this once. Here we go. Oh god. All right. All right. Let me just get this out. All right. I'm Chat, just... what kind of a freak do you have to be to open someone else's fridge 
take out their breast milk and start drinking it. What am I? I'm gonna get this out one shot, and I, I'm never gonna read this ever again in my life. Okay. Refrigerators had padlocks that were not consistently locked or could be accessed by other employees. Employees were using the fridges to store their beer in, but the reason there were locks on them in the first place is that women's breast milk would be stolen. Oh god, alright. We got him, guys. Okay, is it people like... What the heck, dude? Is it people like... They, they, maybe they don't know it's breast milk, or do they know it is? Dude, that is wrong. That is wrong. We got him. It it it's so ridiculous. I I I can't even. I don't want to. I don't want to see it on my screen anymore. Like I I I can't even see this on my screen anymore. This is so. This is so upsetting to me. What kind of workplace allows you to store beer? I don't have a problem with people drinking alcohol. I don't give a fuck about that. It doesn't matter. Like this is a completely separate issue. Like this is like a like yeah, drink. I don't think you should be able to drink alcohol at work. That's uh, why would they have alcohol at work? This yeah, alcohol They're not going to work. Problem should be in the workplace probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is like way worse. And like what are you even thinking about the alcohol for? This <laughs> like it's way worse. Everyone has beers. Yeah. Oh my god, like the alcohol, you know, gives a shit. Company the highest paid CEO could only afford lactation office with a Morton Joe. Yeah, this is nuts, man. There are some individuals that work at this company that makes me uncomfortable. It's hard to do. I can deal with a lot of stuff. I've had people grab my dick at conventions. I've had people do it what? randomly in like uh, in, in in clubs and stuff. Back whenever we used to go down to Sixth Street and stuff, it, like and it just it just happens, right? It never made me uncomfortable. I was just like, <laughs> okay. what? 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 <laughs> okay, you know it is what because it, it wasn't on purpose, right? Like most of the time, at least, it wasn't on purpose. It's so, not on purpose, Cap, but dude, who like gra what? That's how is that not purpose? I mean, chat ass uncle doesn't have a problem. Like, next time you see him, you shake it, you know. Shake his hand and I shake it. Wait, what? I'm just trolling, by the way. Don't do that. No, you're not going to get a recap on what happened. You're going to have to watch the video. Because I'm not saying it twice. No. No, 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 no. I, I'm... This is too much. You're going to have to watch the video. So I find that this is not really an isolated incident at Blizzard. It's not... This like weird blizzard perversion that only happens there. It's happened. It, it yeah. It's Can't common. they put like a camera in the room and see which sick bastards stealing breast milk? That's that should have been handled way sooner. You mean common for the fetish? Maybe next time they do the national census, they'll put that on page four. Okay, I don't know how common this is but i have no idea but what i'm saying is that it's common enough why are we talking about this does it matter it's happening and it's happened before okay look up i don't know why this looks like donald trump cosplay your category is important okay that's okay. what it reminds me of this can you get weird. that off the screen it's not getting weird okay it started off weird and it's getting worse first time chatter hello i'd like to come inside you uh, apparently it's a displaced blizzard employee <laughs> so you know what i'm not hr so I'm done tiptoeing around these issues to be sensitive men stole them and if they want to keep that hush hush maybe they should circle back to me whenever i report these things and share some of my transparency on how they one plan to respond and two how to mitigate these issues instead of blanket statements like we took care of them it's my job to protect employees, I'm not here to handhold or make people comfortable. I'm here to provide facts and testimony of my investigations. As one of the few women in security, I'm quite frankly tired of seeing HR not follow through on things that should be followed up on. This proves that the U.S. is the biggest shithole. Yeah, the thing is, the weird thing is that there are nobody, there are no people that do this outside of the U.S. This is a completely u.s only thing that happens so the moment that you cross the border uh, i don't even think do women even lactate in other parts of the country or other parts of the world 
or does that just stop whenever you cross the American border as well? Yeah, it just stops. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought too. Okay, good. Uh, I'm glad that we cleared that up. I said sure. women are expected to return to office. How are women supposed to feel safe working at Blizzard? Yes, uh, this is not, this would not make me feel safe. Uh, this makes me feel unsafe and I don't even work there and I'm not even a woman. So breastfeeding mothers aren't forced to work in other parts of the world to get by Kekona. I'd be yeah. pissed if I was a mom, dude. All that hard work, pumping my milk out, and then some weird freak steals my milk. I'd be so heated, dude. Where's my... Dude. Did they capture the guy who stole it? Well, welcome to America. Uh, HR protects the company, not the employees. So it, it, this is the thing, right? What are the odds that men stole them and drank them? I would say it's not 100%. But... I'd say it's probably close. Like if it, like knowing guys, like I've I, I'm a guy. I grew up with guys. I I went to a, a shitty high school. Uh, I went to college. Can I imagine guys doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I could imagine. It's not something they'd be proud of. It's not something that I ho fucking hope not. But yeah, I could see this happening. Hundred percent, hundred fucking percent. I could see this happening. Absolutely. Like, no, okay, Jay, what, what would I, do I, I can't I do that. that. I'm a respecter of women. Fucking, I don't know uh, why, like, drinking cow milk is okay, but when I think about, like, drinking human milk, it sounds... It's not supposed to be gross because we grew up on them, but it sounds gross to me. I can only drink cow milk. Uh, point it at the fucking... The, the only kids should have breast milk. And then put a lock on it. Problem pretty much solved, I would assume. But, uh... Kill moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that that's probably what. Don't hire women. Uh, yeah. Okay. Almond milk is great. great. Holy fuck. Uh, so like that's that's what I would probably do to solve the problem. And uh, no, the truth is though is this is th this would probably solve it. And Blizzard, how much would that really cost though? Like, ask yourself this question: How much would it really cost for Blizzard to have bought better chairs, to uh, have better tables? to have better outlets to uh, be able to you know like have people work while they're doing it and to have a security camera and buy a lock i think security camera is like I number one total would be like 10 grand ten thousand dollars to solve it's like that's so cheap to solve such a perversion it, it's so cheap Dude, it's like you just spend the money it's done it's gone you don't have to think about it anymore that's so fucking cheap to do man yeah 10k would be enough uh for company wide yeah because everybody probably uses the same two or three rooms it's quality of life for the employee so it, it really I, and I think this is kind of like obviously this is a manifestation of this but it, it happens all over I think that the stories with like women and minorities uh, getting mistreated by Blizzard, they're more salacious, but they're fucking everybody over, okay? Like there's nobody, it's not like if you're a white dude, you go there and everything's perfect. No, you're still getting overworked. You're still uh, stressed out about your job constantly. You're still being underpaid. You're still being fucked around in dozens of different ways. Maybe your maybe your boss is still touching you in a weird way because like it's a girl or it's a guy that's gay or bisexual or something. That could happen too. So it's not like sexual harassment and this kind of stuff only happens. <laughs> Dude, I would not want to work in Blizzard after hearing these, man. Get out when you can, please. To women. So I don't I don't want to make this a women only issue. This happens to everybody, although it probably happens to women more. It's important to keep that in mind too. I've been very outspoken uh, about many of these issues. Uh, I've been free milk though, dude. No man, Chad, I need to turn off the light. Okay, I turned off one light. I kept one on because it hurts my eyes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like sensitive to light. On issues uh, about the anti-unionization by Amazon and now also Blizzard. We're going to talk about that pretty soon too. And I've also been very outspoken about the stuff that happened at Riot. It was like two years ago where the executives were farting on people. No, I'm not kidding. Look it up. Uh, I've been very outspoken about that. Farting uh, people. About <laughs> what? 
I mean, my friends did that as a joke, but I was, what, what is that? I think it was Foxcom over in the uh, Malaysia. Uh, they would have, uh, they would lock people in. Remember how they had like that big fire and everybody died in the warehouse? Well, the reason why they died is because the doors locked from the outside because they locked the employees in overnight so they couldn't escape. Oh, they would put nets uh, across each different, uh, what? each different floor so the people that were working there wouldn't jump <laughs> down and kill themselves. So I've been very outspoken about all oh of my these God. issues. Oh my God. And I will continue to be outspoken about them. I've said negative things about China, uh, about things like this. I've been very outspoken and I, I will continue to be. Uh, that's all the, that, that, that's all the, all there is to it. <laughs> Amazon treats employees way worse than Blizzard and you play New World. The truth is that yes, Amazon does treat the employees pretty bad. That, that's definitely true. And this is what I said before, is that the new I'm supporting the New World developers whenever I, I'm playing the game. And the, here's the thing. You are supporting Twitch right now on Amazon by typing that message. You understand? Like, there's nobody who's innocent here. Nobody is getting away with this. Nobody is okay. And they're like, oh, well, I don't do that. Everybody does this. Yeah, I, everybody does this. No, I support you, fucker. Yeah, and where am I? Oh, well, I, I don't support New World. I don't support Amazon. I support New World. New World's oh, really Amazon. Hard. Yeah, so I, you can't say that. All my friends that work in Amazon, too, they love Amazon. But I'm sure there's, like, one dick boss that or manager that treats their employee bad. They should be caught, for sure. You, this is what I'm saying. It's impossible to do this without completely removing yourself from society which i've done a pretty fucking good job of okay we're going to use this one guy as content then after that we're going to move on we have to talk about the unionizing stuff and we're gonna we're gonna move on past this but we want to find one chatter his name is uh bobby kodak uh, sorry not bobby kodak i'd rather work minimum wage than be a millionaire <laughs> What is this profile picture? <laughs> Doing this, no shot. Most depressing channel on Twitch. Wish I didn't j didn't listen just for the tranquility. Low IQ take. Why uh, is he even in chat? This is what I don't I don't understand about these people chat. Like they hate the streamer, but they keep coming and watch. It's like Peo. Peo bans like five people, and then they're on his chat all the time. They can't even type, but. They're just there, and all they write is like hateful stuff. Something's wrong with them. All the shit from a work fridge gets taken. Such a sheltered view from someone who has never worked. Dude probably saw milk and drank it. Mostly because you're sheltered fuck. A MRS ASMR has better substance than this trash. Oh it's my. not real, you dub fuck. You right, brah. Books fucked up on cam. Making money doesn't mean you're, 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 er, successful dickhead. <laughs> yeah, so quit. I am. I'm quitting Twitch tomorrow. Go ahead and quit as well. All right. Everybody, let's get his name. From now on, if anybody ever sees Twitch Chatter 0849 <laughs> in any Twitch channel, let it be known that he is a liar. This is your last day. You're not getting banned because just in case you say it again, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep track of you. We're keeping we're keeping good, he probably made good, a new good, account. good track of you. Yeah, he just randomly <laughs> saw milk <laughs> in a milk bottle with a pacifier on it, and he thought, oh wow. <laughs> this must be for me. Here, I've got a picture of the guy that did that too. <laughs> That's my lucky day. That guy looks gross. Shut the fuck up. Did he type anything else when I called him out? Track me. I don't care. I have actually... <laughs> Why are you typing? Okay. So listen. Um, let's go back. We're, we're just gonna... We're, we're gonna try to move on. But it's... It's pretty hard. I, f I feel like this is pretty much the end of the, the saga here. Uh, this is really... This pretty much sums up the way that I felt about it. I saw uh, Bellyure made a tweet about this, and I feel like this pretty much uh, summarizes the way that I feel.
This is just really weird, man. It, it's just really weird, man. Dude, I, I've Twitch been doesn't... I've been watching this show. It's actually not bad. Weird, man. It, it's um, just... the boys. The guy like drinks the milk there, like breast the milk. That that's probably the employee, man. We... This show showed me so much about how companies work. And how if they have like a gay employee, they like want to promote it so that they look good in business. I bet you Blizzard does the same thing. Like they do a bunch of those stuff where they use their people to get favoritism from the people. That's what weird, companies man. do, man. It's illegal to rob people. That still happens. These days people think art. <laughs> One day I was at my job. I went to have cereal for breakfast in the office. <laughs> Refrigerator, I found free milk for my cereal. <laughs> what if that's the guy that <laughs> stole milk, man? It can tell you what they're going to do because it works. You tell them you're going to do everything that you want them to do, and then you take the first step towards doing that, and you never take another step again. Because as soon as you kill the momentum of something, it's dead. So all you need to do is let people relinquish just a little bit and then you just move on. It's the same as like most problems in my guild. The way that I would deal with most problems in my guild is somebody would message me and they would be like, man, I really can't get along with Billy. And I said, what the fuck did he do? And he explains what Billy did. And I say, that's awful. That's terrible. How could he do that? How could he say that your DPS could be better. How could he say that you should have interrupted the ad? Th he called you out for your transmog. Okay, well, uh, I can see why you're upset. We'll probably have to talk to Billy. That person leaves? I never talked to Billy. And the problem is 9 times <laughs> out of 10 solved. So what? I can guarantee you this is what Blizzard is going to do. It's like you think about like an HR worker. Do you think they want to do I hated job? being a GM, dude. Being a GM, I felt like I was customer support chat. I had to talk with everyone. It, it drained me. It killed me in TBC, man. I had like four raids going. Oh, man, it was so hard trying to help everyone. It was miserable. If it was like one group or two group, fine. But taking care of four raid leaders... It was monk. Dude, every problem comes to me. I'm like, I log in, I turn on my computer, I'm like, tech support. How can I help you? How can I help you? That's all I did. I didn't get to play the game. You can ask Kaiser. Kaiser was like, dude, you need to not help these guys. They need to solve their own problem. Job? No. They were, they were playing Candy Crush before you came in. You ruined their game. Now they're going to have to go all the way back up to where they were at. Because you came in with your stupid fucking problem that they don't have. They don't have your problem and they're pissed off because you're wasting, you're making their day worse by making them have to do their own job. So whatever is going to get you out of their office as fast as possible is what will happen. Shareholders control Activision Blizzard as long as Bobby and his slave drivers make them more money. They don't care if they're eating babies, not drinking their milk. Jesus right. Christ. Uh, and, and this is what I said before, is that if Bobby keeps making the money, it doesn't matter if Bobby is doing human sacrifices right outside of that orc with the, on the statue in the middle. Like he could do s sacrifice, it doesn't really make a difference because the investors, and, and why does this matter? Because the investors are not emotionally invested in this. They are financially invested in this. And they see number go up. You know, my dad actually showed me on an article. Uh, that, you know, my dad is, uh, he's from the, the Stone Age. So he gets okay. this thing. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it before. Well, it's like a sheet of paper, but there's like a lot of them. And it tells you what you would usually read on like Twitter. It's called a newspaper. And... <laughs> he will tell you things in the newspaper that I heard about last month. Dude, I have not heard of newspapers in years. Holy chat, when's the last time you looked at a newspaper? He'll be like, So, you hear about this whole NFT thing, huh? And I got an article for you I want you to read about it. It's, you want to make sure you're caught up on this. He makes me read an article 
and it literally says in the article to invest in Activision Blizzard because they're they're gonna they're on basically a, a, a buy the dip type of thing. We'll invest in them now because they're embroiled in controversy and eventually, you know, these things like the truth is that any controversy, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm I'm serious. I I, I didn't I, I didn't take a picture of it. I was going to though. Uh, I, I promise you it's real though. You can trust me, I'm a Twitch streamer. So the truth is like a lot of people are thinking, oh wow, I'm gonna make a lot of money. <laughs> what does that mean? You can trust me, I'm a Twitch streamer? Chat, everything I say is true. So you see what happens here, right? Is but they're going back up. As soon as the pressure comes off, the stock just goes back up. We are in capital L territory. And I think that it will continue to go down until these uh, until these scandals stop happening. Because the truth is, and I, I've said this before, I have a very nihilistic negative view of humans, of people. In my opinion, I don't think that the investors would care if Bobby Kotick was sacrificing people regularly and everybody knew about it as long as they were making money. The truth is, Bobby can do whatever the fuck he wants to do, but the moment that he touches their money, old Bobby, the ashtray salesman, is going to be out on his ass. I'm glad I sold my position at 92-ish. Oh, I know why. This was the day that I announced I was going to play Final Fantasy. So this guy probably sold his stock. He was like, man, Asmund's going to play Final Fantasy. This Shut company's going to go into the shitter. He's going to go into the absolute shitter. Good call, man. <laughs>